With all the recent rainfall we've seen here in the coastal bend, people living at the mobile home and RV community on Lexington Boulevard are very concerned, Andy. You got that right, Sonia. They claim every time it rains like it has over the past couple of weeks here in the area, their community ends up underwater. The, today they told their story to our Myra Cordova. It's very scary. You have to lay awake at night. A neighbor who doesn't want to be named says flooding is a major problem. Afraid that the water is going to come in to your home or destroy your property. At Gateway Mobile Home and RV Community. They actually put it up on the sign up front now that says heavy rains come in, watch for wake. The community does have a drainage ditch, but it can only handle so much water. So when it rains for hours or even days, it overflows. We probably had probably three feet or so. These recent and pictures showing how high water can get. Roll up their pants and they have to wade through the water. The sewage comes up. People stranded in their homes. I had to take a couple of people in in my truck and it was over the bottom of the door. You can't get your animals out. Your children can't go to school. But who's to blame? Gateway staff says part of the problem is uneven grounds. Businesses in front are much higher. The rainfall flowing into their property. It goes to the back of the property, the front of the property. Neighbors say it's also a drainage issue. Water has nowhere to go. It sits there for days at a time. The mosquitoes are a big issue. A concern for everyone, especially the elderly and children. We had kids playing in this stuff that probably shouldn't be playing in. In search of answers, neighbors are writing letters. Get a petition going to get someone to fix this. In hopes of getting the city's attention. Some say if a few hours of rain can cause this much damage. Imagine if we had a hurricane come through here with a, with a lot of rain. You know what happened to Houston? and uh, it could very well happen to Corpus, too. Mayra Cordova, Action 10 News. Now, we did reach out to the city to see if there are any plans in the works to fix the flooding problem, but they haven't returned our calls.